Let me give you the next report. This is just one out of over 150 articles, all that point at the same thing. Look at this. This is a report put out by CNBC. Should GM repay $10 billion rescue costs? CEO says no. Here's Kurt Nemo's article up on Infowars.com. Corporate socialism. GM says no way it will pay back $10 billion. But wait, it gets better. They're not just shutting down now upwards of 500 coal power plants and thousands more they're going to shut down. They're totally clean but aren't owned by the globalist General Electric tax exempt total regulation waivers that can pump out any amount of toxic waste out of coal power plants they want. Not only is their competition shut down, they can run dirty and build plants in Mexico when they shut down the Texas plant supplying five states and ship it in. That's just one example of literal... Godzilla level attack. If you had the hypothetical Godzilla come out and attack San Francisco or Tokyo, it could not do as much damage as they do in one month to our infrastructure that was the giant jewel of the world. They are literally, image it, just swinging their tails and firing their heat rays right into everything we've got. The country is blowing up and melting down in front of us. They shut down over 500 plants of new design, hundreds of other old plants. They're buying up city plants, county plants, state-owned plants. They're shutting them down. Power prices are redlining. People are going bankrupt. We're getting hit hard by a military attack. It gets worse. The 20-plus billion, it's actually 22 billion last time I checked. This is a 10 billion payment that's come due by General Motors. Do you know what they spent almost all the money on? They spent it on shipping General Motors to China, Brazil, and Eastern Europe. I'm going to say that again. Look it up. Kurt Nemo's got it in his article. They shipped your jobs. You paid tax money to ship your jobs. They don't just ship your jobs overseas, boys and girls. You paid for it. And you know why? Because the average person doesn't know how politics or geopolitics works. It's literally like a Green Beret fighting a three-year-old boy. That's what it's like when these scientific technocrats with the greatest minds in the world attack and the public won't admit they're under attack. It is like a three-year-old boy fighting a top Green Beret or Navy SEAL. It, 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 and listen, you could grow up and be an adult and get ready for what's happening, but you won't do it. You stay in a childlike arrested development three-year-old level. I'm talking to new listeners saying this isn't happening. Oh, it's happening. While you're busy watching the NFL, while you're busy into your favorite music star, while, while you're busy watching your favorite sitcom, we're under... Total siege because the globalists are taking the planet over towards their goal to then bring in planetary rule to then drop the hammer. They can't do it till planetary rules end because a nuclear war might happen. If they release these bioweapons, they've done the war games. They know it's going to result in a nuclear war and they don't probably want that. So they've got to get the police state in place first and a global standardization before they do this. And the minute they get a real world government in, they're going to up the taxes, bankrupt everybody. 10 times worse, and then they're going to drop the hammer. And, and listen, <laughs> folks, how much have you seen me talk about over the years that's already come true? They're banned lemonade stands nationwide. They're arresting people or threatening to arrest them that wash their car in their own yard. They're taking blood and other uh, samples at checkpoints without warrants. I've got more news today. We're under the beginnings of real martial law. Let me tell you, when the TSA is playing ping pong with your huevos, you're in tyranny. Let me tell you, when the IRS goes to Congress and says, don't let people leave the country, if we say we have a tax investigation, you're in a police state. When the NSA spies on everything you do illegally and gets away with it, you're in a police state. Every day I see where police go to the wrong house and shoot someone and don't even get in trouble. I've got two reports today in the stack of that. And Anthony Gucciardi last night woke up to tanks, armored vehicles, you name it, at the wrong house. And big, giant, fat, goblin commander cop with the SWAT team literally dragging some woman out who was innocent. It was the wrong house. And in a fake drug war where they ship all the drugs in to begin with so that they can then have an excuse to set up a tyranny. This is the reality. And see how 
shut down your jobs, ship them to the slave camps in China. It's okay because Al Gore owns part of Apple, so have suicide nets. It's trendy. If you're against suicide nets, you're racist. Uh, shut down the power plant, shut down everything, and then this, this piece of news. Here it is, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvanians coerced into giving cheek swabs at checkpoints. That's the kind of news we have here. Neighbors call cops on man for washing car in his own driveway. This is happening everywhere. It's all in a 21. And then when we come back, I'm going to break this down. I told you this was coming. They cannot have you supplementing with even things like vitamin C. In Europe, under Codex Alimentarius, I've watched the UN meetings. They've made it where it's basically 100 euros to get a bottle of vitamin C that would actually do any good for you. And now they're bringing in GMO and pesticide-fed oranges to where you can't even get the nutrients you need. And now they have a big hoax nationwide on every news channel last night saying there is no nutrients. There are no nutrients that you need outside of the food you eat. When we come back, we're going to debunk all this. I remember I had Donnerty Nadell on years ago who says you don't need vitamins, but I said, what if you aren't getting it in, in depleted soil? Oh, then you need it. And he started laughing because I'd caught him. So we're going to break all this down. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.